Hey, Timberwolves, I hope you've all been enjoying our one school, one book story, Zoe and Sassafras, Dragons and Marshmallows. I am the lucky person who gets to read you the very last chapter in the book. So here we go. Chapter 16. The title of our chapter is Smoke. It has a question mark, so it makes me wonder what will be happening. There's the picture to get you started to see what it's all about. I cleaned out Marshmallow's pen while Sassafras watched. It looked so empty without our little dragon bounding around. Even Sassafras was mopey. We all really missed Marshmallow. I sniffed back another wave of tears. Wait a minute. I sniffed again. Do you smell smoke, Sassafras? Where's it coming from? Sassafras pawed at the barn door and meowed. Oh no, was something burning outside? We burst out of the barn to find my mom standing by a fire in our backyard fire pit. She held two sticks and a bag of marshmallows. She smiled. Roasted marshmallows seemed like an appropriate way to celebrate your success with our dragon friend. We cuddled up by the fire telling stories about the little guy and laughing. I ate five or six marshmallows and went to grab another one. But then I remembered how Marshmallow felt after eating the plate of marshmallows. I set my roasting stick down and just enjoyed the fire. I'd skip a stomach ache. After we headed in for the night, I went to my bedroom. Sassafras jumped up on my desk and nosed at my science notebook. It fell open to the next blank page. I laughed and snuggled him up. Oh, Sassafras, I know how you feel. I can't wait to meet our next magical friend either. And that's the end of the story. I wonder what the next magical friend could be. Do you know? Maybe you could check out the next story in the series. Thank you for reading along to our book that we all read together. Way to go, Timberwolves.